Welcome back. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a microstrip filter using advanced design system. Microstrip filters play a vital role in RF and microwave engineering, especially at high frequencies. Compared to traditional lumped element filters, microstrip filters offer superior performance in high frequency applications due to their compact size, reduced parasitic effects, and precise impedance matching. Let's begin. Create a schematic. First of all go to S parameter palette and place S parameter controller and 50 ohm match termination as they are necessary to do S parameter simulations. To design microstrip filter, we'll need microstrip components. Go to the component library and locate the T-line microstrip. T stands for transmission lines. Place two microstrip line. Now take microstrip T and place these T's in your design. Press F5 to adjust the text. Now, place microstrip line open circuit into the schematic. Rearrange the components to make it looks beautiful. Now simulate the circuit. Simulation terminated with the error. Error message is. Cannot find the substrate M sub 1. This is because. We still do not define the substrate in our schematic. Place a substrate definition in our design. Now, set the parameters of this substrate as I am using the Rogers 4350 for my design, as the thickness of my substrate is 0 0.508, relative permittivity is 3.66. As the top conductor is of copper, so use the conductivity of copper, which is 5.8 into 10 raised power 7. HU is the cavity height of the housing used. Thickness of conductor is 35 micron, Loss tangent is 0 0.003. Roughness is 5 micron. You can take these parameters from the datasheet of substrate which you are using for PCB fabrication. Now that we have defined the substrate, now simulate to see the results. Take a rectangular plot, plot S21 and S11 in decibel scale. Change the line thickness to 1 for clear view. Now change the frequency range to check the broadband response. Now, simulate again to check the response. The response is similar to band stop filter. Let's view the layout view. Go to layout and click on generate update layout option. This is the layout of the microstrip filter. Up till now, we have used the default values. So, let's change these values to get our desired response. The best way to change the values is by defining the variables. Go to top toolbar and click on variable option and place it in the schematic. Double click on it. Let's define these variables. You can define more than one variable. Now, assign these variables to parameters of transmission lines. Let the length of first transmission line is a, and width is b. Similarly, assign all the variables to the parameters of transmission lines. Now, we will use the optimization tool to get our desired response. From the left menu, access the optimization palette, place an optimization controller, Double click on the optimization controller. By default, the optimization type is set to random. Go to display tab and uncheck all, as it taking too much space on the schematic. Place optimization goals. I am placing the two optimization goals. You can also place more than two according to your requirement. Next, 
Let's set our optimization goals. Double click on the first optimization goal. Type the expression S2, 1, select the SP1. Now, check the frequency. Set the first limit such that the S21 is greater than minus 2 decibels in the pass band, which is from 18 GHz to 26 GHz. Set the second limit that the S21 is less than minus 30 decibels is the lower stop band. Set the third limit that the S21 is less than minus 30 decibels is the upper stop band. Double click on the second optimization goal. In the second optimization goal, we will optimize S11. Select the SP1 option. Check the frequency. Set the first limit such that the return loss is less than minus 30 decibels in the pass band. In the top toolbar, go to Simulation tab and select the Simulation Variables setup. Go to Optimization tab. Select all the variables which you want to optimize. Set the minimum and maximum limits. And now click the optimization button. You can see that optimizer controller use the different combinations and check which is closely related to our goals and update the values. Perform multiple optimization iterations, we get the almost desired response. Change the frequency range to clearly observe the filter response. Now simulate again. Check that the insertion loss which is depicted by S21 is very good in the passband which is from 18 GHz to 26 GHz. Now, create our updated layout design. This is our microstrip line filter design. I hope you will like the video, don't forget to like and subscribe the channel.